Okay, guys. So these are done with Gatoron box pinks. Um, this is called um, the Haven 60. This is by Garner. Let's see how this sounds, though, chat. And we are using a polycarbonate plate. Now, the final prototype will be... Is my space bar a little warped? Yeah, it's okay. The final prototype will be two millimeters deeper. So let's see how we actually like the sound on this. Okay. First of all, this is a fancy fucking box. Super fancy. Um, this is called the Haven 60. Now, I was told this keyboard's gonna have a little bit of wear and tear to it because it was being used. So if we do see some wear and tear here, ignore it for the time being. I can already see some of it. But it is a pretty looking design. So, I see a gasket. Yes, I mean, kinda. Let me read you some of the design philosophy of this, because it's definitely different. Um, and I quote, To make a long story short, I was one day casually thinking of a vintage wooden Victorian-inspired desk setup, and what that would look like, and what I wanted to pair with a nice wooden board. So essentially, this was supposed to be a wooden board, um, but then got switched over to be this guy. Um, oh, yeah, interesting you. looking board for sure. Honestly though, at first, I think I looked at this with Marcia. Um, at first, I was kind of like, oh, okay, I don't know how I feel about the design. But then, the more I looked at the IC, um, the more I kind of was like, okay, this is actually an interesting looking board. Like, it's not just your typical rectangle. Like, it has layers on on the design itself, and it does look like what it's setting out to be, right? So I didn't mind it. Honestly, did not mind it. I think it's kind of interesting. Now, some design things about this keyboard. First of all, as you guys can see, oh, let's flip it over. It does have a pretty uh, interesting bezel around it as well. Like I said, there's going to be some nicks and knacks on this. This has been used. So we do have to keep that in mind. We're just showcasing it today. I'm not going to take too much points away from like the finish or anything. Uh, one change that, that has been made is this is a shallower version of the prototype. Apparently the final prototype will be a little deeper, uh, meaning that you can go with like a flexier configuration. So I'm told, but interesting looking keyboard. Definitely, definitely different from some of the more, I guess, generic boards that we've seen in recent times. Just a little deeper, you know. All right, and we have our plate here. This does mount via a top mount system, but it has some gasketing in it to kind of help alleviate some of that stuff too. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Let's see what we can do with this build here today. Uh, yes, to clarify, the PCB is, is not included with the keyboard. The keyboard is designed to be universal. Oh, okay, okay.
you have a tip for cleaning stabs that are over lubed, you can pull up the wire. Um, pull up the wire here. Use like your, whatever that thing's called, the, the pencil thing. Get like a, just get a piece of paper towel and wipe. Um, that is probably all I can recommend you doing. Past that, you. I don't know how well this would work and I think I would have to consult with someone about this. You could try the de-lubing solution. It evaporates really quickly. So you could drop that onto the plastic. Um, that's available on lube.no, but I actually want to talk to lube.no before you guys even try that because it's going to be on the PCB and I don't know if that if that touches the PCB if it'll do anything. But I think a paper towel and wiping off excess will probably be your best bet. But if it's underneath though, if like it's, it's underneath causing that mushy like feeling, then... interesting about this is it uses that piece of gasketing on the top and then the screws have these like gaskets these pretty plush gaskets that go on top too um, so it should alleviate some of that force and it has a washer there too which is interesting So these are done with Gatoron box pinks. Um, this is called the, well, let me get you guys the build sheet as well. Let me just pull up that for the Haven 60 here. Oh wait, you guys probably have it in the build command, right? Um, the Haven 60, this is by Garner. Uh, it's gonna be coming in a bunch of different colors, ocean blue, earth brown, stone gray, uh, marine blue, champagne beige, night black. It's going to be under 330. Definitely an interesting looking board. Uh, my only criticism of the entire board, which I, I, I do think this would be extremely beneficial um, down the road, I think a daughter board would be perfect for this. As you can see, this USB-C does sit pretty deep. If that, If you can get past that like design point, I guess, um, then I think the board is actually quite pretty. The internal design uses a top mount using some like pseudo gasket system. So this is a great use case of how can explain a daughter board. See how deep this goes inside here? A daughter board would allow this big design while having the piece of the daughter board sit on the top over here or over here in this case. 
So it would allow you to kind of have that really protruding outwards forehead on this or top bezel without having to sacrifice like this deep gigantic like cut in the actual frame to put your USB. I do think this is a pretty board though. I really have to admit, I, I, I quite like it. This is definitely not your typical rectangle. Let's see how this sounds though, chat. And we are using a polycarbonate plate. Now the final prototype will be, is my space bar a little warped? Yeah, it's okay. The final prototype will be two millimeters deeper. So let's see how we actually like the sound on this. All right, let's use notepad here. I clicked the wrong button because that's enter over there. Okay. I need a little bit of more lube on this. I think my spacebar might be a little bit warped. 